Order is speaks. I want to get off right now. Is that a Batman mask? Oh my gosh. Arrow Season 8, Episode 1, Starling City. This is one of the most bombest premieres I've ever seen of the entire series, man. Because, you know, Batman's been teased for a very long time in the Arrowverse, man. Uh, we've always heard mentions of him and things of that nature. But tonight's episode, we finally see that Earth 2 is a lot different than than I expected, honestly. You know, Oliver works, you know, he, you know, the episode starts off with Oliver waking up, you know, and Lee and you, you know, which then turns into, you know, a hospital uh, wake up, you know, on Earth 2. Because, you know, his whole mission, you know, first of all, the mission for the monitor starts now. You know, Oliver's whole mission, he comes to find out from the monitor that he has to um, obtain some Dorth particles for the monitor for, to help prevent the, you know, the ever so, you know, ever so huge crisis that's coming to, you know, their Earth, his Earth. And so he wakes up, he sees, you know, Malcolm, Merlin, and uh, Tommy, and then also he sees his mother. You know, then also he meets the Green Arrow of Earth 2, which happens to be Adrian Chase. And also he meets Black Siren, who happens to be Laurel Lance, as we all know. And it's really a really, it's a huge, it was a huge family reunion, if you ask me. But, you know, as I said, you know, there was just some fights going on, you know, he had, to fight. He had to convince Tommy, you know, like, look, man, you know, you don't have to go down this way. Because Tommy is pissed off, mind you, that, you know, their half-sister Thea was killed be an overdose on her birthday from a drug known as Vertigo. Sounds very familiar, Very a, a very nice Easter egg from previous seasons of Arrow, of Arrow, where Thea loses her life to an overdose on her birthday, like I said, and Tommy wants to avenge his sister that way. You know, he wants to pick up, you know, a bow and arrow, come to Dark Archer and just wreak havoc. And especially, in, you know, in particular, the Glades. He wants to disrupt, completely just rubble, you know, the Glades for good, you know, and with the help of Dinah and Renee, who are corrupt cops on Earth too. Now, like I said, Oliver, you know, is able to reason with him, talk him down, have him drop that whole Dark Archer moniker, and also convinces Adrian Chase, the Green Arrow of Earth 2, to drop, you know, the Hood moniker and go with the Green Arrow instead. And it's then that Adrian Chase says, look, man, my mentor would be happy because it happens to be Batman. And which is why you see in this damn thumbnail, you see his cowl, along with an arrow through Deathstroke's mask, too, which is where the Batman cowl is actually supposed to be. Actually, where the Destro cowl is supposed to be is where the Batman cowl is. I thought that was pretty dope for them to actually put that in there. And then also, you know, Oliver, I also had to see Earth 2 be, you know, imploded. He had to see it explode. And, and it's only right that he had to take Laurel with him. You know, because luckily, you know, Diggle Prime Earth and Diggle was able to come through with Cisco's inner Earth discs and get them all up out of there. But then also, it gives him time to, you know, make amends and, you know, have, you know, provide himself with some closure. You know, first off with Tommy, like I said, they squabble, they squabble for like a little bit. And also with his mother. His mother, knowing that his son, her son is now a father, gives her and gives him some parenting advice. And I thought that was pretty cool to see how them have that little mushy moment and things of that nature, man. But then also, you know, we get back to the, you know, the current future with Mia, you know, William and now Connor is the leader of the Deathstrokes, which is a mercenary gang ran by Carter. Connor Hawk, you know, the son of John Diggle. And that gets really damn real because, you know, you have DJ, you know, yeah, you have, I'm sorry, you have uh, JJ, who is John Diggle Jr. And then you also have Connor Hawk, who is the stepson of, you know, John Diggle, you know, and they have pretty much have a beef. And so they meet up with the Deathstrokes, they have a bit of a warm words, and that's where that pretty much episode ends, if I'm not mistaken. But um, this episode was pretty cool, man. To see the Batman cow, that huge Easter egg that's out there, like, that was pretty dope. Also, happening to see an arrow with Deathstrokes uh, through Deathstroke. Uh, I'm sorry, through Deathstroke's mask was pretty cool too. God, I gotta get rid of that damn stutter. But this was all. This was a pretty good um, season premiere. I, I really enjoyed it. Honestly, I just can't. Honestly, the reason why I'm, I'm all pausing and stuff is because I just can't believe this is the last season of Arrow, man. I, I really thought at least we got I got another one last season. You know, maybe a season nine, season ten. But this is pretty dope nonetheless, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comments as well. This has been your boy Share Speaks. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like and subscribe button to my homeboys, Middle Boy Gaming and Game Skin. They do great content, live streaming. If you want to catch up with them, you can catch some ads alongside them on the live streams on any co ops from Call of Duty to Go to You name it, man. Peace and love.